Ukraine has unveiled a new evolution in its artillery capabilities with the international patenting of a modernized 155mm wheeled self-propelled howitzer, unofficially referred to as the Bodana 6.0. The patent, registered under the Patent Cooperation Treaty, PCT, by the Kramatorsk Heavy Machine Tool Building Plant, KZVV, outlines both a full-fledged self-propelled gun and a modular artillery system adaptable across different wheeled platforms, marking another milestone in Ukraine's homegrown weapons development. The filing confirms a major expansion of the Bodana family, which now consists of at least six self-propelled variants, ranging across both 6x6 and 8x8 platforms, as well as a towed version known as Bodana B or 2P22 Bodana BG. Among the technical upgrades revealed in the patent is a semi-automatic rammer, currently not fielded due to technical constraints, but indicative of future automation efforts in the system's evolution. Legal protection under the PCT opens the door for international production partnerships and licensing agreements. This aligns with broader European cooperation, particularly Denmark's recent defense initiatives, which include nearly $50 million earmarked for Ukrainian arms production on Danish soil. That same initiative also saw the delivery of 18 Bodana units to Ukrainian forces in 2024. The most recently deployed version, Bodana 5.0, joined the 44th Artillery Brigade in May 2025. This iteration is mounted on the Tatra Force 8x8 chassis, replaces older Czech armored cabs with domestically engineered ones, and incorporates advanced components such as a mechanical loader and anti-drone netting. Ground-based reloading capabilities further demonstrate the design's logistical flexibility. Since its inception in 2018, when the original Bodana 1.0 prototype was mounted on a KRAZ-6322 chassis, the system's development faced delays from legal conflicts and component shortages. However, by 2021, those obstacles had been cleared, leading to combat trials and eventual frontline use during operations around Snake Island in 2022. Full-scale production began in 2023, with each version showcasing technical progression and increasing domestic component integration. The Bodana 2.0 was based on the MAZ-6317, while later versions transitioned to Tatra platforms. Bodana 4.0 introduced a Ukrainian-designed armored cabin and a semi-automatic loading mechanism. By late 2024, over 150 units had been produced, with monthly output ranging between 20 to 36 units depending on resource availability. Ukrainian defense officials aim to reach 95% local content by the end of 2025, with manufacturing distributed across both Ukraine and the EU to mitigate the risk of Russian missile attacks. To counter limitations in vehicle availability, KZVV developed the Bodana B, a towed variant using the same L52 155mm barrel. This artillery piece, based on the Soviet 2A36 Giant Sint B carriage, was introduced in late 2024 and entered service with the 47th Brigade by March 2025. Though less mobile and lacking an autoloader, its lower cost and simpler construction make it ideal for scaling production, particularly as barrel output currently outpaces truck chassis availability. The Bodana series utilizes the NATO standard L52 155mm gun, supporting a wide spectrum of munitions such as M107, M795, M549A1 RAP, Bonus, and M982 Excalibur. Ukrainian forces have also deployed German, Indian, and South African shells with the platform. Its fire control system is integrated with satellite and inertial guidance and receives real-time targeting input from drones and counter-battery radars. Later variants include velocity radar systems, likely the 112L4. With a firing rate of up to 6 rounds per minute and maximum ranges extending to 60 km depending on ammunition, the Bodana has been engaged in various combat zones including Zaporizhia, Kherson, and Bakhmut. Analysts have confirmed 27 Bodana systems lost across all models as of June 2025. Weighing 28 tons, the Bodana system offers high strategic mobility with top road speeds of 80 km per hour and off-road endurance of up to 300 km. Its armored cabin, produced by Ukrainian armor, offers protection from 7.62mm armor-piercing rounds and mine blasts up to Stanag 2B standards. 
The system features redundancy in all critical functions, from hydraulics to electronics, with manual backups in place. Each unit typically carries 20 rounds on board and can be operated remotely from protected positions. Maintenance turnaround is reportedly rapid, with most repairs completed in under 48 hours and spare parts delivered within a day. Crews have reported consistent accuracy even after firing thousands of rounds, crediting proprietary rifling and recoil mitigation systems. The Bodana artillery family has been adopted widely across the Ukrainian armed forces, including by the 44th, 45th, 55th, and 26th artillery brigades, naval artillery units, and elite formations like the National Police's Lyot and Kizhak brigades. Intelligence services, including the GUR, also employ the platform. Ukraine's development of the Bodana system not only represents its first fully NATO-compatible artillery platform but is also part of a broader national strategy to reduce reliance on foreign arms. The recently patented Bodana 6.0 is poised to serve as a centerpiece for both battlefield deployment and future international collaboration, potentially anchoring a new era in Ukrainian defense manufacturing.